I am so insanely excited. It is officially the best time of the year. It's Halloween time. If you want to learn more about the two houses we got to experience, which would be The Bride of Frankenstein Lives and The Revenge of the Tooth Fairy, just go ahead and keep watching. You will also get to see how crazy this day really was. Okay, let's talk about crowds. This was at 8.30 a.m. on Saturday. It did hit capacity that day, but as you can see, it is insane, and this is just walking in. Also, the line for Universal Studios stretched all the way over to Islands of Adventure, and this was just to get in, not for virtual line or anything, because that didn't even start to open until 9, and it was all on your phone, just like Hagrid's or any of the other virtual lines. This was when we left Islands of Adventure at 10.30 a.m. There was still a huge line of people just trying to get into the park. It was insane. Haunted Houses did hit capacity at like 9.30 a.m. I was on there as soon as it opened at 9, went to click on it, and almost had my return time, and it kept saying, sorry, time not available, and just kept refreshing, kept refreshing, and it was really frustrating because at the end, it didn't let me get a pass, so be cautious that even if you get there as soon as it opens, and get on as soon as it opens, you may not get one still. However, they do release more throughout the day, so I was able around 11 o'clock to get one for Tooth Fairy and Frankenstein, so it ended up working out perfectly. So if you don't want, or if you don't get one at first, make sure that you keep trying throughout the day. Just constantly refresh, because there is a chance that you still will get one. Now, this is if they continue to do it throughout the weekends, but considering the response they got this weekend and the houses themselves, I truly think that they're going to continue to do this multiple weekends. As you can see here, this is the Bride of Frankenstein house and you can see once you actually get a virtual line, it's not that bad. However, this is the line for Transformers, so the line for every other ride on the weekends is probably going to be insane. Okay, now let's talk Scarecrow Stock. This is just like the Christmas thing that they have where you go around, you get a little stamp and you get a treat or a ornament, whatever it happens to be. This, you go around, get your little stamps, and you get a bag of candy. There are 13 locations. All 13 are located on the Universal Studio side. You can either go up to the counter, or sometimes there are people walking around that can stamp it. There are a bunch of different little bags of candy that you can get at the end. We haven't had a chance to finish this one, so I will release a video with all of the places that you get to go soon. Next is the Skeleton Bar. This is located at Cafe La Bamba and it is super cool and well worth any line that is there. It is also a really good location to see at the Maryland Show. If you have not seen it, I highly recommend The skeleton bar is based upon a very classic Halloween, so lots of pumpkins, lots of skeletons, obviously, by the name. They also have little finger foods, so not full meals, but all of the food looked delicious. We ended up getting the shrimp cocktail, and I got the sweet potato s'mores fries. Once you pass where the food is, you continue into this gorgeous atmosphere that they created. And this is where your alcoholic drinks are. We did not have a chance to try these that day. I was not in the mood for alcohol with how hot it was, but we are gonna go back and try them, so be on the lookout for that video. The s'mores fries will run you $6.99, they were 
okay. There was nothing really to write home about. The best part, in my opinion, was like the really crispy parts of the marshmallows. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't recommend it. It was definitely more in my head that they were going to be good. Now the shrimp, on the other hand, it'll run you $9.99. It was really good. It tasted so good that you want more than four shrimp. And I don't think it's worth the price, but I would highly recommend getting it if you're going to get something. Now let's talk about more food, like the best part. They have two food trucks around. This one is gonna have your twisted taters, and this one is gonna be located right next to the Frankenstein Bride Maze. Now the moment you guys have all been waiting for, the house review. So let's start with Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. This one had an amazing storyline. It's basically, you can go through and see how this kid didn't want to give his teeth to the tooth fairy and they just start murdering his whole family and you can see how it unfolds if you're not like me and hiding behind your husband, terrified because they were scary in my opinion. I'm also a big chicken, so, but they did a great job telling the story. My husband was, absolutely in love with how the story floated out. It's really cool with the design as well. Um, the way the story unfolds, the black and white, how it's kind of like an older classic story. That was super cool. Also, even though there is plexiglass, you can tell where they're coming from. I mean, honestly, you could tell where they're coming from in the old houses because you would see like a big hole and be like, oh yeah, there's totally somebody coming from there. There are certain scares that you can't tell where they're going to come from. You just, you can't tell. Those, um, with the plexiglass though, I think is creepier because two reasons this house is creepier than it normally would be. One, you know how when they go to scare you, it lights up and makes the noise and everything. This one, they literally are like staring you through the plexiglass and you can a hundred percent see them and you're like, oh my gosh, this is creepy. And they are having like the best time of their lives doing it. And two, they have team members in there with sticks, basically red for go and then they'll pull it off and be like, okay, you can go. Social distancing you between the party in front of you. And I think that's something that a lot of us wish they would do anyways, because going through a house without being in a conga line is scarier as it is. So I think that alone made it scarier and it was a great maze overall. Then we headed to the Universal Monsters Bride of Frankenstein. This one is probably my favorite. Like, it scared me so much, like so much. Um, the facade was incredible and just, I don't know, everything about it. I didn't get to go last year where they had the classic monsters, but I watched it like over and over and over again. So just seeing between the two, they definitely held it to the same standard. And once again, because you're not in a conga line and stuck up everybody's butt, it is so much better. It's more immersive. You do like, so if you're like me and you don't like to go first, that does not matter when it comes to having social distance. It just, it doesn't because my husband was in front of me and literally every scare was me because it just, bad timing and like when you're not in a conga line it's gonna be either you or the person in front of you so either go in a big group so you have your own little conga line going and you're probably gonna be the only little group going through the house or be ready to get scared but yeah I honestly loved it it made me miss Halloween Horror Nights so much I really hope that they continue having this over the next few weekends and I really hope they open more houses because I would 100% wait in like hours of a line for this. I think even though you would potentially wait longer, you get a better experience by there not being a crowd of people. So that is my thought on the mazes. On our way out, we did see this exclusive fluffy pop as well as backpack and they are super cute and super fluffy. I want them so bad. Obviously not literally fluffy, but I mean, look at that backpack. It's so cute. 
But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video where we get a drink and hopefully finish that scarecrow stock and see what little goodies we can get. Thank you guys so much again for watching.